Hey there. Well, I was watching a video from Styx Hexenhammer 666, and he was talking about about how you know if it's Hillary versus Trump, Trump will win by a landslide, and I happen to agree with that. Uh, it's why I'm, I push so much for Bernie. I just I. There are people that are saying, well, the Republicans are, are going to split off. And I'm going, well, I think that's, a, that's Republicans trying to save face because most of what Trump talks about are things that Republicans have supported in the past. They just don't like the way that Trump words it. But, uh, and there are so many people that are disgruntled with the idea of a, a Hillary presidency that they'll vote for Trump just out of spite. And with, with that, I, I, I still look back to um, when the Democrats, you know, made Kerry the primary candidate. It's fucking retarded. Kerry is so very ridiculous. Um... You know, the last time we had a good candidate in that regard, it was Howard Dean, and we threw him in the garbage because he, he got too excited during a speech. And we listened to mainstream media, which demonized him for making that speech. So, anyway, um, what I wanted to really talk about here, though, was on Styx Hexenhammer 666's video, you look at the comment section. There are people who are unsubscribing from him for one of two reasons. One is that he's actually supporting, is supportive of the LGBT community. And another is because, oh no, he's wearing makeup. People are actually unsubscribing from him just because he wore ma he's wearing makeup. It, <laughs> it just it just shows me how much further we need to go it shows me that you know when it comes to acceptance there's there's still quite a ways to go and I see this same sort of attitude from a number of those that call themselves libertarian, even though they don't really represent a libertarian mindset. I see this a lot from those that call themselves red pill philosophers. I see it from people who will say, well, I am a skeptic. No, you're not. You're, you're, it, 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 it's funny to me when people are only skeptical of anything that veers from the norm, that veers from our traditions. They're only skeptical then. That's it. Anything that's been traditional, that's been a pattern for a long time, they have no skepticism towards at all. But I'm a skeptic. No, you're not. Don't give me that shit. If you're only skeptical of one side of things, you're not really a skeptic. That's, that's, that's what I look at. That's the way I view it. Um, now, if you said, well, I'm skeptical about these types of things, okay, fine. But don't just call yourself a skeptic if you're only skeptical of one side. So... You know, I may be a neophile, but I'm skeptical of those new ideas, as well as, obviously, I'm skeptical of the old ideas. But I don't believe in, in promoting this idea of, uh, of cultural and political Dadaism. And I know there are some people who get bent out of shape because I use that term Dadaism for other things than what it was originally meant to be. It, it's, a, it's kind of an artistic movement. But what it boils down to is 
you know, Dadaism boils down to doing something different just for the sake of doing something different. Not because you've really give it some, given it some thought and that it's some sort of a, you know, you really think this is a better idea. No, no, it's just doing something different for the sake of doing something different. Now, in, in art, in music, in, in, in creative things, Dadaism can work. It can work. You never know what's going to catch on and what isn't. So you just try this and put it out there, and if it fails, it fails. If it, if it works, it works. But if you try to do this with social issues or political issues, it's, you're going to run into problems. So, anyway. Um, but yeah, the idea that, that people are just, they're, they're not going to support Styx Hexenhammer 666 just because he's wearing makeup? What the fuck is wrong with you? You know, there are some people who make it sound, oh, if he wears makeup, well, now he's a social justice warrior. What? <laughs> this is how pathetic and closed-minded some people are about this shit? <laughs> And again, some of these people are, are call themselves skeptics. And you're going to make that kind of judgment just because someone's wearing makeup. I just think that's pathetic. Anyway, um... Maybe I should just show you, before I turn off the camera, where I am. I think I've may have taken pictures of this bridge before. Let's see if I can get it in focus, even though it's... I don't have the... Well, it's close anyway. That's where I'm at. Meow.